We're in the cooking corner now with Montro executive chef Richard Applegate making quinoa stuffed beef tenderloin with acorn squash and the the new executive chef at Montro. So congratulations on your Thank promotion. You. Thank you. Well, let's start off with a beef tenderloin. What do we how do we take it from here to there? OK, first off, you want to take your cleaned and trimmed beef tenderloin. That's a center cut and okay. then you just come through about half an inch thick and roll it as you go and that'll open it up. Wow. From there you'll take your prepared quinoa. I boiled this in chicken broth because you know directions say water but I think the broth gives it a better flavor. Oh very good. So this when we're talking about a stuffed meat, stuffed tenderloin specifically, this is what we're talking about rolling it inside mm -hmm. the, the you said butterfly to meat right? Yes. That's what you did with it. And then from there you'll take your butcher's twine and just truss it so it stays together and all your stuffing doesn't fall out. Yeah, and you're taking it over the top and then underneath mm -hmm. three times? Yep. Now just, beef tenderloin, what are we looking for when we're shopping for beef tenderloin? What, what are some of the things that we want to see when we're shopping? For uh, really with beef tenderloin, unless you get it already trimmed, it's hard to tell because it comes with a nice fat chain. Mm. And until you get that off, it's hard to tell what your quality is going to be. From there, we'll just season with a little kosher salt. Fresh ground black pepper. Hmm. Pretty little, simple seasoning. Yep. Little canola oil or olive oil in the pan, and then just throw it straight in. So what temp? So how long are we going to do this? Obviously for TV, we're not going to be able to do the whole thing. Yeah. But how long? And what are we looking for as far as color? Uh, from here, you're going to sear it one or two minutes on each side until you get a nice. See how it's already starting to brown. Mm -hmm. Get a real nice color, and then when you get about that color. <laughs> yeah. A nice caramel color. You'll transfer it to a baking dish and finish it in the oven about 12 to 14 minutes depending on how rare you like your meat. Okay. That's uh, good because the sear isn't going to do it for us. We are going to no. have to finish it in the oven. Yes. And to accompany that. Uh oh. Looks like it went oh, out did here. our gas go out? I think we've got it here. Looks like it. Well. There we go. We're on baby. Here we go. A little butter in a nonstick pan. Let that melt, and then we'll add in onions, bell pepper, garlic, saute that for a minute or two, and then throw in the acorn squash, and then just turn it down on low and let it simmer. Excellent. And so the acorn squash, um, this is going to be kind of a, a medley of vegetables yes. that we're going to saute. So one more time, uh, Richard, could you run me through the vegetables that we're putting in this? Minced garlic, diced onion, diced bell pepper, diced acorn squash. We'll season it with a little thyme, dry thyme, fresh thyme, it doesn't matter. Uh, salt and pepper to taste. I mean, a lot of people don't like salt, so... That's one of those you do just by taste. Sure, absolutely. And we're seeing kind of the starting of the vegetable medley. And we'll be able to get some of the way down the road. But obviously with TV time, this is a great meal that you can make at home. We can't show you from start to finish, but we can show you the end product right here that Richard prepared for us. And this just looks fantastic for, you know, you can treat yourself after the holidays. This is a great meal for any time of year. Mm -hmm. Well, Richard, we appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Yep. And uh, again, congratulations on the new gig at Montreal. Thank you.